got this opportunity because of my idea I and Haryana had. Uh, Martanan sir saw that ad on TV and they called up my production people, that idea production. And then they called me up that Kerala people are asking about you if you are interested in South movies or not. I said, okay, they give them my number. If things work out, then definitely I'll do that. Then Lakshmi called me up, they called me for the meeting, I came to Kerala, I met Mathandan sir and our producer and the Mamuka sir and he asked me two, three questions and I said, okay, I will be able to speak Malayali if somebody will teach me. That's how I got this movie. I have done Punjabi movie also but that is not released yet. But as per movie which is on screen, this is my first movie and opposite to Mamuka, it's like a wonderful experience, your, one of your dreams come true. like. So it was an amazing experience because whole team was very supportive and they were very helpful because I am not Malu, so I don't speak Malayali, so they have helped me a lot, even especially Mamuka sir and Lakshmi, they both have helped me a lot while doing my scenes and uh, that language issues and all. So it was an amazing experience for me. Yeah, I have heard about that because Mamukas and Mohan Lal's very famous name in the industry and that I saw that Bhaska the Rascal after when I got this movie because you should know that how it works. So I have seen little bit of movies and all. Mamuka, I have no words because working with him is like your, as I told that one of my biggest dream when I came to know that I am uh, getting this role opposite to Mamuka, I didn't listen to anything because I got another show also for Star Plus. I left that show because my parents were also happy that I got this opportunity to him, opposite to him. So it's like when I was working with him, first day I was very nervous because obviously he's legend and I am just a newcomer. But he didn't make me feel that you are just a fresher. He just made me feel so comfortable in every scene because when you are playing husband wife, they want that chemistry on screen. It should be on your face and your while doing the scenes. He made me so comfortable in every scene that I didn't feel awkward that I'm working opposite to superstar or legend. It's a North Indian character only, but I am speaking Malayali also because we are staying in Kerala from last 20 years. But problems we are facing here because people are not accepting us because we are North Indian, some problems which we face on, the, on that level. So we are discussing about that on this. And that care, family bonding, that husband-wife care, that when they want to save their kid, what problems they face, it's all about that. It's a very family-family family kind of movie. See, because they asked me that it's gonna dub, but what I feel that if you're not able to emote that emotion, then there is no point. Dubbing person will dub your dialogues the way you will speak or that lip sync portion will be there. But I believe that I want my dialogues with emotions. So I learned my lines with the meaning of that every word. Uh, she has helped me a lot. Lakshmi was there. She translated me every word. What's the meaning of that word so that I can uh, emote that lines with emotions. So it was there. I tried to learn all the lines so that I can give my perfect lip sync to them. I used to uh, face so many problems because when you have to say something to anyone, they don't understand Hindi or English. So Lakshmi was there, she used to translate to them what I want. Because when she is not around, I used to I want to look after him, where is she, where is she? Because director what he is, he is saying I have to understand that only she can translate me. So that was the problem, otherwise wonderful experience because when you know that what you want, the director is happy with your performance. I'm not saying I'm a very good artist, but what director wants from you, if you are okay for that, then it is like, okay, you have reached 50% of that. My first scene was with him only. That was hospital scene when he came and I'm just talking to him about our problem when he told me about that this is a problem that uh, our kid saved because of some money which I bought from terrorists. So it's all about that. That's a conversation between me and Mamuka. That time I was nervous because that was my first scene and first day of my shoot. But he made me feel so comfortable so I didn't fe find any problem while doing that scene. As an actor, you try to give your 100%. Whenever you are acting, you feel that you have to give your because future you don't know. At present, whatever is there, you have to live that moment. You have to do that according to your performance. What you as an actor, because present is the power, which I believe. So while doing that scenes, I try to make that what he wants, that director wants from me, I should give it to them. Otherwise, there is no point doing that scene. If you are not happy with your performance and your director is not happy with your performance, then there is no point of doing that scene. So I used to try to give it my, you know, give my 100% in that scene. I am not saying that I understand Malayali or I, I know 
I mean, the, what other person is saying. But I try to learn, you know, because when you are performing, if you see other singers, they don't know any other language, but they sing songs because they know the m music. They know that how to sing that. Same as go for acting also. If you know your emotion, if you know the scene, if you know the feel of the scene, then you can speak that. For me, Malayali was a difficult language, of course, but I tried to learn. I used to take my script before the scene so that I can mug it up and I can feel that scene that was there. Kerala, it's a beautiful place and people are very nice, very down to earth. And when I worked with them, I didn't feel that I am, you know, I am not from them only. I am not a Malayali or I don't speak Malayali. Otherwise, language problem was there, but they, everything was so easily they have made me comfortable in every aspect so i felt good here working initially when i got selected for my series that was because of balaji that auditions were happening in jammu then i got shortlisted for that i moved to i came to mumbai for that shortlisted audition nothing happened i went back to my place but i did theater when i was doing my ncc uh, group when i was in ncc because i wanted to join army to be very honest but after that, I realized that when I got shortlisted for that Balaji audition, my parents were like, why don't you try for that? So I thought, okay, give it a try because in this industry, you cannot sit at home and you expect that work will come to you. You have to give your at least 100%, then only you will get 10% or 15% about that because without struggle, nothing is here. So I felt that if you are out of sight out of mind you have to stay there then i started my career when i came to mumbai in 2011 12 years yeah.